Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to MTGO Traders. My name is Taren and I'm here with an update to an Amon Ket deck, Cat Tribal 2.0. Power of Devastation not only brought a ton of great removal and answers for cards in Standard that are a total headache, but it also brought in more cats. It's literally perfect. Before I get into the deck tech, make sure to like the video and subscribe to MTGO Traders for more content like this every weekday. All right, let's go. Going over creatures first, at the one drop slot, we've got the ever-present Sacred Cat, a total playset here. A 1-1 one -one for one isn't great, but having recursion and in this new deck, the ability to multiply makes Sacred Cat leagues better. See this in your opening hand? You're starting the match off right. Moving up to the two drop slot, we've got a new cat in the deck. Adorned Pouncer, a total playset. A 1-1 one -one double striker that has eternal lines for 5 mana is just crazy good. Not only that, but with the other cards in this deck, you can get two 4-4 four -four double strikers in the mid to late game. Talk about absurd. We're only two cards in and I'm loving this deck, guys. Another two drop, but just two this time, Feral Prowler. On face value, this card can block early and draw you a card in the mid to late game. Alongside pump spells, this could be a 2-4 or even 3-5. So I think two mana for this draw card is just fine. But only two since we have so much value in the deck already. One more playset of a two drop cat is Long Tusk Cub. While his energy won't be utilized that heavily in the main board, he usually warrants a removal spell, so we'll make sure to use him as a removal magnet so we can play our better cats out later. It does feel bad to say that this cat isn't great in the deck, but we have so much value with the other cats in here. Lastly at the two drop slot, I can't forget the tribal staple, Metallic Mimic. A total four of here. In this deck, the Mimic does so much more work than the Minotaur deck, simply because this deck is capable of going so much wider. It's a ton of fun to play with and I can't wait to show off just how broken it is in this deck. So that's 22 creatures with two mana or less. This deck has a fast curve, no doubt. But moving up to the three mana slot gives us another Hour of Devastation card, Pride Sovereign. A playset here. A self booster if your board is doing well, and a token generator if you choose to widen your board even more. This lion is no joke insane. And you'll feel bad for your opponent when you play 3 mana 5 5 with upside. Trust me, it's doable. And finally, at the top of our curve, we've got the game ender, Regal Caracal. This cat buffs your other cats and brings even more cats to the party. Your opponent is going to want to need a boat for the ocean of cats that he's going to have to fight through. If they don't deal with the Caracal early, it's game over. And that is it for the creatures, 26 in total. Feral Prowler could be be taken out, but that card draw is highly needed in the deck, where you're playing your entire hand as quickly as possible. Okay, so we have cats doing their cat stuff, what can we do to help them? Let's go to spells. A place that a blossoming defense is here to protect our cats and make sure Pride Sovereign and Regal Caracal stay on the board for more than one turn. It even gives them a slight buff, letting them trade with even higher up creatures on the food chain. There is too much removal to count in standard, and this helps keep our board active. As far as enchantments go, we've got two cast out and four anointed procession. We need some form of removal, and cast out deals with every threat coming our way. But anointed procession, this card makes cats busted. At only four mana, it can make a turn four Pride Sovereign create four cat tokens making him alone a 6-6 to attack on turn 6. Crazy good. We've got 16 cats that can either create tokens or recur themselves. Prepare for the kitty apocalypse. The last two cards we have in the deck is a utility artifact, Life Crafter's Bestiary. Because our strategy is aggressive with a high creature curve, being able to draw additional cards and scry at the beginning of your turn can really help your game plan, speed up your board, and mean death for your opponent. As far as lands go, it's fairly simple. Two Aether Hub to help Long Tusk Cub grow a bit and manifix early, two Canopy Vista, three Fortified Village, one Westville Abbey because getting five creatures with five mana is very doable, seven Forest, and seven Plains. An ideal draw would look something like this. One Forest, one Plains, one Canopy Vista, one Sacred Cat, one Metallic Mimic, and one Life Crafter's Bestiary. I want to do more setup in my opening hand than start attacking in, because most of our cat tokens and cats have the ability to have lifelink, so losing life early in the game isn't nearly as important to us as stabilizing our game plan. Drawing into an anointed procession would be nice, but if you find it in your opening hand, go nuts. That's the full 60, so let's go over the sideboard. Again, this sideboard is a covering all your bases sideboard. Your local meta may be different and thus you'll want to pick different cards, but here we go. Two declaration in stone for wide board states. Two who Heroic Intervention to survive both board wipes and important combat steps, two Natural Obsolescence to deal with artifacts and Scrap Heap Scrounger, two Prowlings of Poppers to deal with control strategies countering your kitty cats, this would probably replace the Feral Prowler since the matchup will go so much slower, two Solemnity because shutting down energy and counter based strategies is hilarious, two Stasis Snare for faster removal, two Cast Out to round out removal, and one Fumigate, just in case a Mono Black Zombies deck or Tokens deck gets too wild. And that is the full 75. Believe it or not, but on MTGO Traders, this deck is 
going for a shockingly low 30 tickets. That's literally insane for what you're getting. But let me know what you would like to add, take away, or swap out for a better, more streamlined deck. I'm always in the comments talking back and forth about the deck and why I chose the cards that I did. Would love to hash it out. But anyway, like the video if you liked it, and always subscribe to MTGO Traders for more deck techs, gameplay videos, and streams. I'll see you guys in the next video.